Welcome to the No Tracers podcast. This podcast is about urban exploring. If you guys are fans of abandoned places, if you're fans of content creation in abandoned places, this is the podcast for you. So I got asked, I am actually live right now on TikTok uh, recording this podcast and somebody, I was asking for topic suggestions and somebody asked me what the most dangerous situation I've ever been in in an abandoned building is was. So I'm going to share that with you guys now. I hope you enjoy this episode. This is going to be quite crazy, but uh, here we go. I actually got to explore the place that I'm talking about in this story with Urbex Off Limits. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, I highly recommend you do that. He has all the spots. This guy knows everything about everything urban exploration. And uh, he also wants to start a podcast. So if we could just go encourage him to do so, on his Instagram, urbex underscore off limits, or on his YouTube channel, which is urbex off limits. Go check it out, look at his stuff, and uh, help me convince him to start a podcast. I think that he should. I think it would be super cool to hear his perspective about stuff and his stories of his explorations. So hit him up on Instagram for sure, urbex underscore off limits. Thanks for the spot, dude. So, first of all, I'm not going to disclose any locations or any of that kind of stuff. So, if you're trying to find out where this place is, I'm not going to tell you, so don't even ask. Uh, That's just how this is in the community. We don't really share locations, especially with people we don't know. Um, But if you do get in tight with the community, maybe I'll let you know one day where it's at. But uh, okay, so I was exploring an abandoned jail, a four-story jail. And first of all, to get in, it was super easy. They had wood, like plywood on the doors everywhere. Some of the doors were bolted shut. But one of the entrances just had a piece of wood and somebody kicked the wood in. So there was a huge hole in the thing. So when we showed up, we didn't have to, you know, uh, I'm super against breaking and entering. I think that it's like it it could get you in way more trouble than just getting in, you know. So I stay away from B&Es. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think you should do it. And if you do do it, cool. But, you know, you're risking your freedom to do that. So I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest with you. But That being said, there was already a hole in this piece of wood. So we just, you know, snuck right in. We just went right into this place. And upon entering, we explored for about two hours. And then uh, a silent alarm went off. And a security guard showed up. And he parked his van right next to where we got in at. So there was no way for us to get out without getting caught. So as urban explorers, instead of, you know, just giving up and turning ourselves into the security guard who has the authority to do nothing but tell us to leave. Um, (laughs) We decided to stay inside and keep exploring. And, you know, it was, uh, it was kind of sketchy because we were like, okay, well I had somewhere to be afterwards. So I was like, guys, we got to wrap this up. We have to find another way out. We need to start looking now. So we literally spent an hour and a half trying to find another way out of this place. And, you know, in most abandoned places, all the doors are bolted shut so that there's no way in or out. Even if you had a key to get into this place, they've bolted the doors shut from the inside. So there's literally no way for you to open that door. So most of the doors were completely bolted shut. The bottom two floors had uh, cell bars on all the windows. So we couldn't just like hop out the second floor and like, you know, be on our way. There was a much more complicated route we had to take. (laughs) So uh after about an hour and a half we found uh some rope and we found a window that had a pipe outside that led down to the first floor and we were like okay we can just shimmy down this fucking pipe it's so stupid this is like the dumbest story ever i can't believe we got away and survived and nobody got injured getting out of this place um but we ended up tying a rope to these bars because the um the like third story, the third floor of this jail had like a little pathway for the guards to walk in and it was like secluded. So it had bars all over it. You know, it was like its own little section of the, the jail. It had like a guard pathway that was protected um, and separate from where the prisoners would walk. Um, and so we ended up tying a rope to that and shimmying down this pipe and 
oh my God, can I just tell you, it was the sketchiest thing I have ever done. I was like, I'm going to die. I'm just going to die, break my legs, break my face on the ground. I'm going to fall onto a car or something. Like, I didn't know it was going to happen. But before we get to how we like fully got out, I just got to tell you guys, this place was absolutely amazing. There was a boxing ring. There was solitary confinement. There was a gym with weights and, and weight machines and all that kind of stuff. It was super interesting uh, to wander around inside this place and I skateboarded through the entire place. So we all brought skateboards and we were just skateboarding around inside and it was so sick. It was so sick to be inside an abandoned place and just, you know, have a good time and skate around and film some content. And I filmed a music video in there. If you guys want to see it, go to K the Screamer official. The song is Why by NF. Um, We did a metalcore cover of a rap song and I filmed the video in this abandoned jail. And I often film my videos in abandoned places. That's kind of my backdrop. That's like my thing. I love doing it. It's super fun. Uh, so we we did that. We filmed that. And we were skating around. And, you know, we when this security guard showed up, he kind of cramped our style. So we were like, fuck, what are we going to do? We got to get out of here. Like, And then the, <laughs> the cherry on top is that I actually had a film screening to go to uh it was my first and my like debut in a film and I was like oh my god I can't be late for this so I was like guys we got to find a way out of here so like I said uh fast forward to where we were climbing down this pipe so we climbed down the pipe and we got all of the people that were with us down there were multiple people with us which was like another issue (laughs) it wasn't just like one or two people it was like multiple people so we had to find a way to get all of us out of this place So we ended up climbing down this pipe and uh, jumping over a razor wire fence and it was super sketchy and like my friend got her shoelace stuck on a razor wire fence and I was trying to tell her not to panic because if you panic and you're trying to get out of razor wire, you're going to end up like slicing yourself open. So um, I actually have a couple scars from that trip on my legs uh, from trying to climb out of there. Uh, I had bruises, I had cuts, I had like all kinds of stuff. It was a it was a pretty brutal exploration, but I mean, that that's just what happens when you explore a lot. You know, you always come home with some scrapes or some bruises just from getting in and out. And that's just kind of how it goes with urban exploring. So if you're not into minor injuries like bruising and, and scrapes and cuts and stuff like that, uh, I recommend against urban exploration. But if you are trying to get into it, that's probably a reason you're listening to this podcast. Um, just know that that's probably going to happen. Um, I will do a an episode about gear that I think you should have with you on an urban exploration mission. I think that that's going to be a super helpful episode. Um, if you guys have questions, hit me up at no.tracers on Instagram. Just send me a DM. I will answer it or I will answer it here on the podcast. Probably answer it here on the podcast because we need content. You know what I mean? We need more content for the podcast. So yeah, that is the story of the time that I got in and out of jail. Um, the only time I've ever been to jail, uh, by the way, was in an abandoned in an abandoned jail. I've never been to actual jail, thankfully, knock on wood. You hear me knocking on wood, yes. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share this story because I've got tons of stories from these places. I mean, I could make episode after episode after episode of stories. So if you guys want to hear more of this stuff, definitely let me know on Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Um, And if you have topic suggestions, if you want to come on the podcast, I would also like to talk to you about your stories, your journeys, and the tales that are behind your urban exploration missions. I love talking to other urban explorers. So definitely reach out to me. And if you guys liked this episode, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you get notified when a new episode drops, which is going to be every Friday at about noon Pacific Standard Time. That's when I'm going to drop the new episodes. So if you guys want to get new episodes, come back every Friday at noon. Thank you guys for listening to this. If you liked it, please be sure to leave a rating and some feedback. And if you leave feedback, I will actually send you a signed photo print from an abandoned place that I have explored. And if you guys are interested, I have a book out called No Tracers, an Urban Explorer's Diary. It's full of these stories, just like this one that I told you, as well as high-res photographs from my adventures into abandoned places. And I would love for you to pick up a copy. You can do so at justtheletterk.com slash no tracers. There will be a link down in the description. And there's a bunch of affiliate links to Amazon stuff down in the description as well. If you guys need a camera, a backpack, a microphone uh, to start your own podcast, perhaps, 
or if you need a solar charger for your GoPro or your phone or whatever, uh, check out the links down in the description. If you guys are freelancers, I also have a podcast called Project Freelance. I would love for you to check that out as well. It's got over 100 episodes. So uh, if you want to dive into a podcast right now, definitely dive into that one if you're a freelancer. Cool. Thank you, guys. My name is K, just the letter K, and you can find me at no.tracers on Instagram or youtube.com slash just the letter K or just the letter K.com. Cool. I also have a bunch of blogs from these abandoned places on just the letter K.com slash blog. So definitely go check that out. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next time. And remember, leave no trace.